योर क्वेश्चन इज यूज द सिमेट्री टू फाइंड द मैक्सिमम और मिनिमम पॉइंट स्केच ग्राफ शोइंग ऑल एक्सेस क्रॉसिंग पॉइंट दे हैव गिवेन यू वाई इज इक्वल टू एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस सिक्स एक्स प्लस एट नाउ इफ यू सी दिस प्रॉब्लम वॉट यू विल गेट here you will get a quadratic equation and here it is the y now if you see the quadratic equation x square x square whose coefficient is positive you will get a minimum point there that means you will get the graph like this like this graph you will get a minimum point where x square coefficient is positive that we should understand that if it is negative you will get a maximum point this is your minimum point that means it's below the zero it's a minimum point and these points are above so this is minimum these are the maximum but if the coefficient is negative that means if it is minus x square you will get the graph like this downward so this is your maximum point that we should understand that now just we will go for this first so first we will find out the minimum as well as the maximum point whatever it is how we will go we will go for a squaring method that means this is your y so y is equal to we can say y is equal to go for the squaring method here you can see the second term is minus that means we will make it a minus b whole square we will make it as a minus b whole square here that is minus here if it is plus we will make it a plus b whole square now you can see here x square that means a is your x a is your x and this is your minus 6b minus 6b is your minus 2ab minus 2ab that is your minus 6x a minus b whole square what is the formula we will know that a minus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab here they have not given you b we will find out b how we will find out we know that a square is your x square but here minus 2ab is your minus 6x you can see the mixture of both therefore now if you solve this a is your x you can cut it minus and minus gone so now b we can say b is equal to 6 by 2 that is equal to 3 so b is 3 now so what we will do x minus 3 whole square now if we are writing a minus b whole square we can we know that plus b square is extra here so what we will do we will subtract that so now we will go for minus b square here therefore minus b square is your minus 3 square is 9 plus 8 now solve this what we will get y is equal to x minus 3 whole square minus 1 now we will find out the minimum or the maximum so we know that this is positive that means we will get a minimum point so now the minimum points are minimum points x minus 3 this is your x coordinate what you will get x minus 3 that means what is your x coordinate x minus 3 is equal to 
therefore x is equal to we can say it's a 3 so minimum point is 3 and comma and y coordinate is this one that is minus 1 so this is your minimum point now we will go for the coordinates all axis coordinate crossing this point so what we have to do here First, we will make it as y is equal to 0. y is equal to 0. So, what we will get? You can see here, bring this minus 1 to here. So, you will get x minus 3 whole square minus 1 that is equal to 0 as we have made the y is equal to 0. So, we will get x minus 3 whole square that is equal to 1. Now, we know that x minus 3 whole square is 1. So, what is your x minus 3? So, x minus 3 is equal to, we can say, plus minus root 1. That is equal to 1. x minus 3 is equal to plus minus 1. First, we will take x minus 3 plus 1. So, we will get x minus 3 is equal to 1. Now, x is equal to 1. Minus 3 will come this side. 1 plus 3. So, we get x is equal to 4. Now, if we take minus 1, what we will get? x minus 3 is equal to minus 1. We get x is equal to minus 1 plus 3. That is equal to 2. Now the coordinates of y is equal to 0, 0 are these two. What are the coordinates? That is your 4, 0, 2, 0. Now we will take x is equal to 0. x is equal to 0 what we will get? You can see this, what you will get? x is equal to 0 here. So, we will get y is equal to, if you see this, y is equal to 0 minus 3 whole square minus 1. That is equal to, we can say, minus 3 square is 9 minus 1. That is equal to 8. So, now we can say the coordinates are 0, 8. So, these are the coordinates where it touches the axis. If you draw that, how it will be? So, it will be just like this. You can see here 2 comma 0. So 2 is here comma 0 that means this point. Here 4 comma 0 that means 4 is here and 0. And next comes your 0 comma 2. X is 0 and Y is 8 here. So it will be just like this. And the coordinates Symmetric axis coordinates is what? You can see that they are where it is minimum points are 3 comma minus 1. So this is 2, this is 4, here comes 3. 3 comma minus 1 is here. It will come just like this. So you can see the minimum point what I have told you. So the graph is just like this. So this is 2 comma 0, this is 4 comma 0, this is 3 comma minus 1, this is 0 comma 8. Like this you have to solve this question.